disjointed. He stood naked in front of the full-length mirror, flexing his biceps. The mirror flashed an amber warning, reminding him to stand still while it scanned his organs, blood, bones and skin. It would evaluate his health and adjust the multitude of enhancement implants scattered throughout his body, fine-tuning them as it went to maximise his physical and mental performance. This daily routine made him feel trapped and cornered, as if the mirror was a docking bay that he couldn't stay away from for more than 24 hours. He wanted to run into the sea or drink himself silly. He wanted to go off-grid and wander wherever he liked and for as long as he liked. The pressure to break free had been building for a while, to such an extent that he doubted whether he could make it through another day. As the timer in the top right-hand corner approached zero, he tightened his stomach muscles and straightened his back. The mirror snapped its daily photo for his archives and, he suspected, a central database. He clenched his fist and punched the mirror with all the force he could summon. A thousand pieces flew across the room. The holistic guardian of his well-being was dismembered and lying scattered all around him. An enormous sense of relief welled up from deep inside. But what was that? The fragments of the mirror were continuing their work in isolation and different parts of his body were choosing their own settings. His hands were getting warmer, his feet colder, his heart was racing, his stomach clenched and his calf muscles cramped. And yet, as soon as his brain registered a problem, it told him not to worry, immediately overriding all warnings. He screamed as the pain and euphoria of the dissection reached every part of his being. <laughs>